Hello guys and welcome back to our RDA campaign. In the last episode, the Roman they uh, sent two fleet and take a settlement from it. That pretty bad. I didn't see that coming. Right. Now we have to take it back, obviously. But first, I think we try to go and attack Apollonia. I think that's more important. And we can actually take um, a few skill on the champion here to increase our campaign map movement range. So take this one and take this one. Okay, still not enough to get to the settlement. Damn it. I prefer to use the army to attack it so the fleet will be free to roam around and uh, do something else that would be better. But uh, actually, yeah, we can still have an army to it. Nope. This army will have to go this way to uh, attack that settlement and take it back from the Roman. So if the king army is not able to reach Apollonia, we will have to use the fleet to attack it. Alright, take this one. For more experience and less upkeep for all the unit, that's pretty good. We take it. We take this one. Good. And uh, we will move the king armies towards Apollonia. Oh wait, but first we need to move the the spine around and take a look what's going on around this area. We need to know. Yeah. We can see one Artens army over here. They are not too strong, just 27 units. We have the Orishians here ready to attack our puppet state here. And they will probably take this settlement. And we will need to go back to deal with them. First, we kill the Roman here. First, we kill the Roman here. Alright. So go around and take a look. The... Um, La Rizal people over here, they we just defeat an army from them and I think they will not have anything left. What about the Sparta? They have an army here, but they move somewhere else. So I think we can we can actually do that. The Macedons they Yeah, they're much weaker now. We can uh, just take up Lonia back from the Roman. They only have eight units inside. The settlement. So we should be able to win this battle quite easily. Let's go and attack it right away. We will not be able to reach it, so we need to attack it with the fleet. We should try to go around and take a look first. The Roman, do they have any fleets left? Somewhere around here. They have an army with 14 units. And they have another very big army here. That actually... That actually look pretty threatening yeah we need to raise another fleet in epidemic so in case the roman move this army here to attack it we will have some fleet to intercept them at sea right now let's try to attack Apollonia and take it back from the roman cool we do not need to fight this battle actually yeah, just auto resolve it. Just auto resolve it. Just for four percent casualty. It's not really. It's not really a big deal. We can take it, right? And we can keep looting the settlement for some money. Like that. All right. And we should untax this province. Because we need food. Now we have some more gold. That's better. And the king army can stay around this area. For like one turn here. Right. Patrol the area. And we can take some enemy tradition. Melee attack for all units. That's pretty good. Over here we can have melee attack and melee defense skill for all spear units. Right. And... Uh, Levy, cool. 
we do have some levy unit in our army so that can be quite useful but first we take this one out of Molosuit and we take uh, inomitable hope lines right spear spear we have a lot of military tradition we pop the spear unit but we do not have yeah we have a lot of strong melee infantry i prefer to have more infantry bob rather than the spearman bob but uh, whatever we can take this one as well formidable spearman another spears bob cool um actually how about we take provincial guard that's extra one 9% attack and defense for our levy unit and that will be that will make the light infantry become stronger they're pretty good right now they are really good really good hmm interesting we can do that um but first I think we should take Something like this one for campaign map movement rings. I think we should take campaign map movement rings right now. Cavalry. Okay, we can take some cavalry, Bob. Actually, cavalry master would be very useful. Right. Take the campaign map movement ring first, so we can move further away, and we can do many things. More thing in one turn. Like we can recruit some units here, right? We need some line supply, right? That's pretty good. They are really good actually. Especially with uh, the spear buff we would have with the uh, army tradition. They will be very useful. Much better than than our old spearman, obviously. Right. We can try to have a few of them. Since we don't have any cavalry. We need strong and fat spearmen to fight, right? So take one of this, and the king will stay here. Good. Um, over here we have to move both of these ramis back to take this sermon from the Roman. One, and we attack with this guy. Yeah, we should be able to win this battle. And we will fight this battle manually, right? Since we, I don't want to take that many casualties. Let's go. Ready for orders. Enemy reinforcements approaching. So the plan for this battle is very simple. We will try to use our melee infantry here to hold the enemy's back and we try to kill them with our cavalry and uh, slinger. We have proper land unit here. They have much bigger side you decide compared to the enemy ship Kuro. However, the enemy ship Kuro over here, they are very dangerous. They are heavy infantry and they are very strong in melee. So if we try to use our melee, our light melee infantry here to fight them head on, we will not be able to win. We have to use the slinger and the cavalry to deal damage to them. And only by doing so, we will be able to win this battle. But it's not very difficult actually 
Our slinger will be able to do a lot of damage to the enemy because they have um, much smaller size compared to our units over here. They're just ship crew after all. We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. Melee infantry ready. One of our units has used all its ammunition. One of our units has used all its ammunition. General! Cavalry! Ready and waiting. Slingers! Ready. Slingers! General! Quickly now! Ready! Cavalry! General! Melee troops awaiting orders. Ready for orders. Halt! Command orders. Cavalry! Ready and waiting. Command. General! Advance 
We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. Slingers! Get running! Battle ready and eager! Slingers! Move it! Flee the field of battle! This is a shameful display. General! Ready and waiting! Ready to ride! Riders! At Ready. the double! Strength there! Forward! Slingers! Take aim! We await your command! Commander! We await your command! Orders. Heavy horse at your command! Warriors ready! Ready for orders! Slingers! Loose! Ready and waiting! General! Quickly now!
At your service! to command swords we hunger for blood and battle fire Heavy cavalry, ready and willing. Our hidden units have been discovered. Ready and waiting. The enemy general is dead. All right, so this will be the end for the Roman here now, and uh, we can take back our sermon. Hmm. Okay. So we take back our seven here, and we also destroy the two Roman fleet. That's pretty good. Um. So I think we can just occupy the seven, take it back from the Roman, and that's good. That's good. That's good. This army might go there, go here, and attack us right now. We will need to prepare for that. A fleet here. Um. Okay, we can move all the way up here. It's good. Can we recruit units for them? Nope. No mercenary available here as well. So we will need to. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we will need to uh, raise another fleet in Epidamus. Recruit a few ships here. We don't have any population in yet uh, anymore, right? Yeah, yeah. We will need to raise a fleet here, recruit some ships, and we will intercept this army when they move to attack it. Yeah, we should be able to do that. Now, as for the admiral, I think we can try to use. Oh, also of Chipston. Um. They still have pretty low loyalty, right? Pacifit. Come on. <laughs> also of Chipston. Maybe get this guy a wife. And do something about 
do something about that. I don't know. Hmm. Belight can be our admiral here. Edamut. Get him out. Raise the fleet. And we need to recruit some unit, some ships. Just the cheapest ship available here. We'll be able to do that. So uh, we have five here. Three more here. Yes, that would be eight. And we can recruit some more mercenary. So we can have ten ships. To deal with the Roman. Ten ships should be enough. Okay, you guys can stay here, patrol the regions. Alright. Level up. That's good. That's good. Mm hmm. Public order, more public order over here. So why not? And we can get more public order here as well. But we also need some combat skill on our general. So we will take military conscription for extra replenishment right on you as well. Yeah, public order, very good already. Take this one. Take the ammunition. Good. We have a few slinger here. Ammunition would be very useful. And can we recruit anything? Oh, <laughs> we actually have enough for like one slinger. So why not? Let have it, right? We can do it. One slinger. Yeah, we still need a small army to defend ourselves against the Roman fleet, for example. So one army, one small army will stay here to defend it against the enemy. We need it. Mm -hmm. We can upgrade the building right now. And hmm, upgrade this one. Yeah. And we have slaves. Oh, interesting. Oh no, we don't. Okay, interesting. Actually, we can build the slave, slave building without needing the slave resources. Oh, so, oh no, no. Level 3 requires the Trojan slave resources. And we need to take uh, this ceremony over here to be able to acquire that. The slave building is a very good one, but uh, we cannot build it right now. So let's try to operate it. Uh, let's try to operate a storage pit over here. Good. Maybe a farmer market. Maybe. But I prefer to keep our gold for now so we can use it on things that we need immediately like unit or mercenary or something we still have so many enemies to deal with and I don't think we can keep Apollonia right now we need to go back and deal with the Orishan maybe we can try to go and take Perla from the Macedon first actually we need to deal with the Athens over here we need to deal with the Macedon yeah so Let's keep our goal for now. We need it. Right. Um, our next move, I don't know, will depend on what happens. Right. If the Orishian take this salmon, we need to move our King Army's back to deal with them, obviously. So, um, this will be the end of this turn. We should, yeah, go ahead and enter right now. And let's see what happens. Let's see what will happen so far. Let's go. Hmm, alright. Thread agreement dissolved tribally. Cool. Full shortage. Pirates spotted. Right, pirates here. The Roman race and another fleet here. And Trespart. And what else? Um the vanity they declare war not and again right you have the did they? hmm 
and they send an army somewhere right here. I don't know what kind of unit they have right now in their army. This can be dangerous. Um, over here, the Macedon just liberates this faction. <laughs> right. Now we have to deal with them. Cool. Good. Yeah. We uh, we need to bring the King Army back to deal with the Orishan over here. And um, I guess we just let Apollonia here for anyone who want to take it. Maybe the pirates will go there and take Apollonia. I don't know. And I don't care. And we need to bring this fleet back here. To Epidemus. Take the unit. And we should uh, disband this fleet. Yeah, save some food and gold. And we get into the port and we recruit some more units here. Yes, we need a fleet. Obviously. Um, this army will go... will stay inside the settlement to defend it. Obviously. Take the slinger. Um, and... You move back here inside the city. You move back here inside the settlement. So we can defend it. Probably. Hmm, I think they will not, they still have war with, they're still at war with this guy, right? The vanity. Greetings, friend. So I don't think they will be able to get to a settlement in just one turn. And what are they doing over here? I don't like that. They look quite dangerous as well. Holy shit. I don't like oh, it when the AI just have an army right outside of our border like that. It means right inside our body like this. That means they want to attack it. And yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Our army do not have enough movement range to attack the Orishan right now. That's bad. And we need to take this ceremony back. That means we will try to make this guy our puppet state again. Right. And we need to move the king and his back. Let's stay inside the ceremony. I did. Why not? We can do that. Um, should we recruit some unit? We have some like hope lies here. Maybe we can try to do something. Maybe we can try to recruit some more unit here. Maybe we should replace some of this light spear with slinger. We need more range unit to counter enemy cavalry. Probably. Yeah. So let's try to replace these two spearmen. Yeah, we have the light spear here. Light hope lights here. So let's try to replace this spearman with the slinger. Like that. They're pretty cheap. We can do that. As for our food problem, we can try to use a spy to fix it. So hold here and deploy. Steal some food from the Macedon. So, we have some food, so we can survive that. <laughs> Upgrade this, we have more food now. Nice, why not? Um, what else? Upgrade this thing. I think we can try to do that right now. Yeah, it takes 8 turns. Let's do it. We still have 8 towns in gold. Yeah, and uh, hmm, if the Romans send an army, we have a good fleet now to deal with them. That's a good thing. And uh, I think we try to make a fleet. Um, we can we can try to have like fifteen units in our fleet, for example, so we can stay at sea confidently. Um, right, we can, we still can't go around and raid the Roman coast and town here with the fleet. We need better units here, so that we will be able to do that. Right, we at least need some melee infantry. We need to upgrade the port here. Upgrade it here, so we can recruit this unit. Will be very good. Okay, so. 
Next, we will try to take care of the Orishian army here. And we will try to make this guy our puppet state again. And then we go and deal with the Macedon or anyone around this area, probably. So let's try to enter and let's see what happened over here first. If the Vanity attack us right now, if the um the barbarian here attack us right now, it can be really really bad. Can we actually defend ourselves here? I don't know. I think we need a few hope lines to be able to do that, but we do not have the gold for them right now. Right. We need to wait for this building here to complete. So we have more income. So yeah, let's try to continue and see what will happen. Alright, let's go. <clears throat> Alright, so the pirate they attack us here, obviously, in Apollonia. We can let the pirate have this salmon for now. I don't really care about it. We can take it back. Just a pirate. We should be able to deal with them quite easily. Alright, so here we go. Yeah, Apollonia. The pirate ticket. I don't care. And uh, this guy, they stay here. And the vanity, they send an army. That's just a very small one with only 14 units. Maybe... Yeah, if they attack us here in our settlement, we should be able to defend against them. Should we get some hope lines or something in this army? I don't know. But first, we need to deal with that uh, that Orishian army. And I think we should be able to win this battle quite easily. Let's go. They run away. Cool. Um, we should chase and finish them off. Yeah. They're pretty weak already. There should be um, another Macedon army around here. We try sparse this faction here, but I don't care. We will try to destroy them anyway. So let's try to fight this battle right here, right now. Destroy this army so we can. Yeah, rest in peace. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. This will not be a very difficult battle since we have a um, much stronger army here. The only thing we need, um, the only thing we like over here is cavalry. We don't have any. So, uh, yeah, we have to use our infantry for flanking, our javelin man, the slinger to skirmish and kill the enemy missile unit, and cavalry and so on and then we will be able to use our infantry to flank and kill the enemy and that's the plan Right. 
So, as always, first we try to use the uh, Levy Spear and uh, the Slinger here try to skirmish a little bit and kill the enemy Mitsu unit and hopefully the enemy carry as well. Right. Warriors eager for blood! Tribesmen! Spearmen ready for battle! Alright, this look like the enemy try to uh, attack us with all of their units. So we bring the uh, slinger back behind our infantry. And we fight. It's not a problem. We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. Light Hoplites! We will pierce their hearts! Warriors, move out! Ready for orders. Quick march! Fire at Brianda! At speed! Get them! Any of them? Understood. Our hidden units have been discovered! Lightsman! Spearmen! Slingers, keep watch. Ready for orders. The enemy cavalry would be the most annoying thing to deal with over here, because our slingers they are not. Uh, the very good slinger. They are very bad actually. Weaker than Starna Slinger. <laughs> so fighting at this cavalry and we have a lot of trouble killing them. But we can also use our javelin man if we need them. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Ready for orders? Double time! Double time! Missiles ready and waiting. Slingers! Put that The men are wavering. Fire! Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Infantry, ready! Back, back. 
One of our units has used all its ammunition. We hunger for blood and battle! Missile armed warriors! At your service! Alright, now the enemy can reach that, it's time for us to move around and flank the enemy with our javelin men and our infantry. Our hope lies still can still hold the enemies, hold the front against the enemy pretty pretty effectively, even after the nerf, right? But uh, before, we should take much less casualty than that. That's a pretty big nerf for the Illyrian hoplites, actually. The battle is turning in our favor. Yeah, now we have our javelin man behind the enemy. It's over for them now. It's over. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Hmm, alright, so we uh, destroyed this Orisian army. 
You can take the gold. Yeah, just more than 2,000. That's pretty cheap. And they would not be able to do anything to us anymore. Um, we need to go back to Epidemus. To replant it. Right. So let's go. And I think we should be able to replant it this turn. We can patrol the regions here, right? I think we are safe here. Yeah, I think we should. We should be safe here. Patrol the regions. Hmm. Athens. This army look pretty strong. They have a lot of cavalry. That's a problem. Hmm. Epidemic. Alright, I don't think the enemy pirates here can attack Epidemic. We should be able to defend it. Our building is almost done. We can recruit a few units here in case the enemy attack. So let's try to get a few hope lines. Maybe? Um, hope lines. Hope lines will be very useful when we try to defend ourselves. And we need more units here as well. In our fleet. Let's get more units. Alright. Next turn we can try to declare war on this faction and make them our puppet state again. Let's try to get peace retreat with the uh, origin actually. Welcome. Speed. No. Oh come on. I just destroyed their army. They still want to fight. Damn it, really? Okay, so we will fight. We have a lot of first class population here actually. Elite. We can get we can try to make more of these noble hope lines. They are really strong. Really powerful unit. Yeah, right. Why not? Um So still need this general here, right? We will have a civil war soon since I don't think we will be able to fix the loyalty of this party. By light. And here here. Um not a very good character. Unequip all of this. Right? And we can just fight the civil war then. I don't know, maybe. Yeah, just fight the civil war then. Right, so that everything we can do. Next turn, we can try to go back here and take Apollonia back. The Athen army, they are pretty strong, but uh, our king army are strong as well. I think we should be able to deal with them. And this faction over here, we can just leave them here for now. And we can always go back here and take this settlement anytime when we want to do that right so let's uh, just try to enter right now and let's see what happened the roman the roman where is their army okay let's check a let's check real quick they're at war with a lot of fashion now that's good that's good so we try to deal with the greek first before we go and attack the roman i think that will be more interesting so let's go ahead and enter and let's see what happens shall we well. <clears throat> <clears throat> right so protection expired okay oh that's good Holy shit, that's household. Really good. Campaign map moon range, chart bonus, and movement speed for unit. Wow, that's really good. Can we equip this right away? Yeah. On the king army. Why not? That's so good. It's winter now. And I think we have high chance of secession. Yeah. Very high chance of a secession. 
um, we can try to provoke it. Provoke them right now, so we can deal with them right away. Why not? Hmm. We can't move anyway. So, let's try to do it. Why not? Provoke this party into a civil war. And here we go. They only have 4 units. We can just go ahead and destroy them right away. Like that. Like that. And destroy them right away. Auto resolve the battle. And that's good. Is that all? All right. Ready for battle. Now go back here. You two go back here. And uh, we are having. Too much influence. We need to lower our, our influence. But how? Damn it. It's bad. Hmm. We need to lower our influence right now. It's not good. Mm hmm. We cannot move up here so let's try to stay inside our settlement right now like this and next turn we will attack Apollonia take it back from the pirate we should be able to it's winter our rebuilding will be complete soon so we will have more income right now we cannot we can't do anything yeah <laughs> um we still need more ships and next turn we can loot the settlement for some quick money so let's just recruit more ships right now so when the roman attack us we will have a fleet to deal with them this army still need to stay here this army still need to stay here good now let's take some skill this one this one spear unit and campaign map movement range we try to recruit a few more hope lines in this army so uh, we can defend our settlement with them okay we will be able to survive we will I look forward all right no one want to trade with that poor oh, fine fine I don't care so that everything we can do already Let's go to the next turn and let's see what will happen. Right. This look more and more interesting. Yeah. <laughs> let's go. Hmm. Alright. Alright, alright. So we finished the building. Our economy should be a little bit better now. And we should go and attack Apollonia right now. To the king army. Oh, Athens stay right here. Um, we can attack the settlement directly. Or we can attack uh, the Athens army. And we fight this battle first. Before we go and take the settlement, yeah, we can uh, destroy the garrison here along with the Athens army. Then we can attack the settlement. Why not? Let's try to do that. So attack the Athens army here. We have to deal with them anyway. So better do that first. And this army, lots of hope lies. And cavalry. The cavalry can be quite dangerous. Yeah. But we have spear, we have uh, slinger, we have good melee infantry. I think we should be able to win this battle. Let's go.
first to command. At your service. Alright, so here we go. It looks like we have a very good hill over here. We try to enemy go and stay on top of that hill to fight the enemy. We face the Greek over here. They have a lot of hope lines. So before, our Illyrian hope lines would be stronger than the enemy Greek hope lines, and I can very confidently using uh, the Illyrian hope lines to fight them head on but now we are actually weaker with less melee defense and less armor and weaker shields as well so <laughs> fighting the brick hope lines head on will not be an option but we can still try to stay there and fight them for a little bit while waiting for our javelin men and our infantry to move around to flank them and again the enemy cavalry here would be the most annoying thing we have to deal with they have a lot of cavalry actually this would be yeah it's not gonna be fun for us We're trying to use the spearman and the slinger to capture the enemy cavalry, but uh, yeah, the slinger, they're pretty weak. One of our units is used they will not be able to do much against the enemy cavalry here. And oh, right, that's a lot of cavalry. The enemy reinforcements coming from the side as well. So uh, I think we can just send some melee infantry over there to deal with them. They're not too strong. Just a few melee units, and one that's one cavalry should be enough to deal with them. We're still trying to defend the hill over here. That's our advantage uh, in this battle. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Command. 
Hmm, alright, so as you can see, killing the enemy cavalry without having cavalry ourselves is really difficult. Yeah, they can move out. They can move in and move out and avoid our infantry quite easily. One of our units has used all its Having no cavalry at all uh, can be quite difficult for us. We need some, some kind of cavalry soon. We need some kind of cavalry soon. Over here, we uh, already get rid of the enemy reinforcement, and the enemy cavalry, they will have to die. They will have to die. Our hope lies still losing round against the great hope lines, but we will move our infantry and javelin men behind to flank them soon. To flank them soon. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Now, the man, infantry behind the enemy hope line. It's over for them now. It's over. We can try to uh, retreat our hope lines here slightly, so we do not take too much casualty. And the javelin man will do everything that will destroy the hope lines. Service. Swords! 
One of our units has used all its ammunition. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Awaiting orders. Juggling men! Delirious! Warriors! Swords! Melee infantry at your command. Our aim is true! Fall back! Ready and waiting. Ready! By your command! Juggling men! One of our units has used all its ammunition. All right, so this should be the end of this battle. One of our units has used all its Not a perfect victory, but uh, yeah, we can take it. Without any cavalry, and with very bad slinger, bad missile unit, and we can already fight like this. It's already, yeah, it's good already. And with um, a few cavalry units, and um, maybe better slinger maybe we try to uh, hire some mercenary rodian slinger to fight battles uh, yeah we will be much stronger with better slinger and a few cavalry unit which is a few a few yeah right Hmm, alright, another great victory for the RDA. And we can um, land some captives here. Why not? Take some gold from this week. Um, we should do that. Hmm. We can take um, Apollonia right now. But I think first we need to take a look around. Let's move and take a look around. Okay. Um, it's safe to take the salmon, right? We can move the fleet here so we can take some experience for my admiral. Why not? Um, wait. Can we replenish here? Hmm. We will need some replenishment. So actually just attack it and next turn we can move back to uh, our territories and replenish our army. Why not? Let's go and attack the seven right now. And I think we have to do this manually. Since I don't want to take I don't want to lose any units here. Let's fight this battle. Hmm, alright. It's a very easy battle. And now we uh, can take this salmon again. And we should loot it for some gold. Like that. Okay. And we destroy the pirate, obviously. Um, and next turn we can move back to Epinavit and replant it. And then we will try to attack that uh, patient over here. Take their salmon. And then, and then we try to do something. And then we will try to figure out what we're gonna do next. <laughs> yeah. Um, hopefully we can. Wow. The Macedon. They have some serious army right now. 
we need to take care of the of the Marceron right the way as soon as possible. They are the most dangerous enemy right now. The Sparta. Sparta is pretty weak. The Athens as well. And also this uh, faction here. Only the Macedon that can give us some problem, some trouble. This fleet will move back to Epidemus and stay there. Hmm, alright. Alright, alright, alright. Take the skill for the king. And we should take this one. Infantry. Yes. We need better infantry. So our infantry uh, <clears throat> is better now. That's very good. Very good. Stay here for one turn. Go back to Epidemus to replenish. And we just let um, anyone to take Apollonia. I don't really care about this right now. We have a more important thing. That we need to do right now. All right, we need to recruit more supplies for this army here as well. We can do it here. We can do it here, and move the supplies to this army so we can defend the settlement here right, right now. Good. So this will be the end of this episode. I think um, that's look much better than than before we can actually survive now and we can counter attack soon I think after we can take all the Greeks we can move to attack the Roman and yeah that would be really really good so thank you very much for watching and see you in the next episode